Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, snuggled up in my husband's jacket, been swimming all day, <laughs> trying to get warm again. <laughs> anyway, um, what I want to share with you, one of our YouTubers asked if we could do a list of things that should be checked, that could be cursed, or that could open doors to the demonic. All right. Now, listen. Number one, uh, this is not in order. This is just as they come to mind. Help me, Lord, with this list. Number one, we'll start with artifacts. Sometimes people go to museums or swap meets or whatever type of stores they go to, and they buy things that come from other countries. They may buy an idol or, uh, you know, different types of idols that people worship, bring fruit to, uh, pay homage to. And they really believe that if they keep the, the so-called God, the little God, happy, that it will bring blessing or keep evil away from them. But they don't realize that, number one, you have to think about it. Here's the logical sense. The idol doesn't speak, the idol doesn't walk, the idol doesn't talk. It can't move itself and put itself where it wants to be without somebody doing it for it, right? It's like a, it's an inanimate object, like a fork or like a remote control. Now, this remote control cannot come if I ask him to come to me. Can I go get me a glass of water? It cannot answer prayers. It just sits there. And if I bring fruit to it, think about it. Okay, so okay, so God calls that an abomination because there's only one God. Okay, Yahweh, <laughs> our Father in heaven. Now, so any type of idol. Now, that's the obvious, the idols, the artifacts, the masks that maybe witch doctors, you know, uh, wear. <laughs> when they're casting spells, hexes, whatever. Now, tarot cards, candles lit in honor of Satan or the dead. <clears throat> hmm. Statues that you bow and pray to. The Bible says we are to pray to the Father in the name of the Son. Okay. Now, we are not to pray to angels. Angels have always corrected people when they bowed to them and said, no, I'm no more than you. I'm just a messenger. You only bow to God. So you have to be careful where you throw your worship. Okay, now, here's another one. Um, music. Help me with this list, Lord, please. Music is another thing. There's a thing called backward masking, where even though the music played forward may sound nice, warm, and fuzzy, there are some songs that are dedicated to Satan, but you don't know it because you're hearing it played forward. But a lot of music has, a lot of music may integrate backward masking to make the music sound really interesting. Be careful with that because some of them are not just doing it for effect. Some of them are actually singing curses, singing an invitation, conjuring up a demonic activity for the listener. Uh, so you don't want to be one of those listeners that end up getting visitations that you didn't invite yourself because that's why a lot of people have a lot of demonic uh, oppression, a lot of demonic activity, and they were like, where did this come from? Music. All right. Now, another one is artwork. Some of you allow artwork to come into your house. You hang them on your wall, and they're, you know, you, you, you're looking at ghosts, goblins, dead people, things pertaining to the dark side, but you like it because it's fascinating. That picture may have been dedicated to Satan. Gotta watch that kind of stuff. 
brand names and labels. You have to be careful about brand names and labels. And I will not have a dirt devil in my house. Somebody else was talking. I, I think I did the upload. They talked about how they uh, were having all kind of demonic manifestations only to find out that a set of golf clubs that had been brought in their house, the brand name of the golf clubs was Diablo, and that is Spanish for devil. Yeah, once they got that out of the house, they got that demonic activity in check. Stopped. See, you have no idea sometimes when you have a cursed thing in your house. Some of you need to check the labels of the clothes you wear, the makeup, the fragrances. You have to watch that. Okay, now, there are certain types of TV programs that you watch. You think it's okay. If God calls something an abomination and that TV program promotes it, encourages that activity. I know some of y'all know where I'm going, but I'm going to leave it at that. Leave it to your imagination. You know, you are opening doors to the demonic. When you call psychic hotlines and consult with wizards, the Bible says do not consult with wizards, witches, and all this other stuff. Do not consult with stargazers and time watchers and, I mean, number crunchers or whatever you want to call them. I'm throwing out names. I don't even know what I'm saying. But people that play games with these numbers and these stars and they're reading astrologies and they're going to, no, no, no. Games that some of you allow your children to play. Some of you play. Mm -hmm. Some of you don't have kids. You're college students and you play <gasps> levitations. I did it. And when I got saved, I had to denounce that bad boy too. Because I was having too much evil visiting me and I didn't know what to do with it. So you have to make sure you're not opening those doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's re it can really get scary when you don't know what doors you're opening. And then some people, their children start getting weird sicknesses and doctors are scratching their heads and they don't know why. Because you have allowed games into your home. Dungeons, dragons, yeah, Pokemon, whatever you want. Whatever your titles are, whatever the games, the names of the games are, uh, Harry Potter, whatever. You want to watch that, that's on you. But you have to remember, you are responsible for those under you. Hmm. And if you are really in control and not your children, you'll shut that thing down and get rid of it. Matter of fact, you won't even bring it into your home in the first place. Certain books you have to be careful of. Hmm, yeah. What is it about? What does it glorify? Or does it glorify? Yeah, no. Leave that alone. Things dealing with ghosts and goblins and the paranormal. and Hmm, Scratch it off your list, baby. Yeah, chuck it. Get rid of it. You don't need it. Images. T-shirts with images of skulls and upside down crosses. That is a blasphemous symbol that mocks the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see what else can I think. Jewelry. Thank you, Lord. Jewelry. If you wear an earring, that with an upside down cross or a pendant upside down cross or you're wearing skulls and all kind of weird uh, you know, witchcraft emblems on your charm bracelet and all kind of stuff. No. No. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Oh, movies. Some of you go to movies and you love watching. The darker the movie, the more evil, the more fascinating. There are some alien movies I won't watch because it emphasizes the demonic. The, the aliens act like demons, talk like demons, sound like demons, look like demons. And yes, many of us who were born again Christians have seen demons. 
So you have to be very careful about that. What you allow yourself to entertain. You hear me? All right. So now, um, some of you, here's another one. You have to be careful with the music because sometimes you can listen to an instrumental and you think it's harmless because it's classical. Well, one day I was in the living room with a friend of mine. She was looking out the window and I had classical music playing. And when I had the classical music playing, I started feeling a deep, dark depression coming over me. Came out of nowhere. Everything was fine. There was no reason for it. And I said, uh, I said, Gwen, can you turn that radio off? She turned it off. The feeling stopped. I said, wow. Whatever that classical song was, it was obvious. It was anointed with evil. Maybe it was involving evil. Maybe it was something that a person wrote to glorify Satan. Who knows? But the bottom line was there was nothing but darkness on that song, and I could feel it. And I love classical music. I love Elizabethan. I love, I love music. Okay, so, but there are some songs. You have to have the gift of discerning of spirits or ask God to give you the ability to discern because there are times that something just that harmless could have something evil attached to it. It could have an evil attachment, a demonic attachment. Mm. Serious, y'all. Okay, I think that pretty much does it for the list. I hope that helps you. God bless you as you watch and pray, listen and pray, discern and pray. God bless you.